In addition to the indicator plant analysis, we can also look directly at summary tables of vegetation for given site series. We'll use reference summary tables for site series and compare that to what we found to help us with our classification. Here's a summary table for our biogeoclimatic unit. So you see over there CWH VM1, there's a different tables for each climatic unit, obviously. And this is similar looking to the vegetation table I showed earlier in the videos. The difference is that now we're looking at different site series at the top versus uh, different biogeoclimatic units. And based on the classifications we've done so far, we've had hints that we might be in site associations 1, 5, or 7. So those are the ones we're going to look at here. We've got our table with our plant cover by species. And then down at the bottom there, table 10 shows the key for the symbols in the vegetation table related to frequency. Like earlier, we're going to skip the trees at this point because they may be more indicative of management than actual soil conditions. We'll start with Galtheria shallon, Salal. So in our case, we had just 0.2% cover, so barely present. So of those three site associations, it's probably closest to site association 5 since the others have a relative amount of cover. Alaskan blueberry, we had 7%. So that corresponds with 5 or 7. Red huckleberry, just 0.2%, so barely present. So that's closer to the reference for site association 5. Rubus spectabilis, salmonberry, 25%. We had fair amount. So that puts us in site association 5 or 7. I went ahead and figured out the rest of these. So site association 1 had a few matches, but not many. 5 had quite a few, and 7 had a bit fewer. So from these... I think we can say that the vegetation that we found best matched the existing reference for site association 5, and that corresponds to a site series of CWHVM1 05. So that puts us there on the etotopic grid.